Some baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. We're going to do a quick breakdown here of this play. Very interesting situation here. Nationals and Phillies. Massive swing by Alec Bohm. The runner takes off. He is safe. And Quinn is now at third. Everything seems normal except no. Kurt Suzuki, Nationals catcher, said, no, he hit me in the follow-through. That is not right. Something needs to change. And they actually made Quinn go back to second base. And John Crook, not so happy about it. That's his normal swing. That's yeah. his normal follow through. What the heck's he supposed to do? Yeah, his bat hit you in the leg because you jumped out. That's ridiculous. Let's look at it from this angle as you can see right here. Catcher does stand up. Going for the throw, it is his natural swing. Boom, completely natural, nothing weird there. Suzuki turns around, complains about it, and the call is made. And like I said, announcer's not happy about it. They're always making mistakes, but we have to refer to the rule because I can't act like I'm an expert on this unless I check it out. And if you look at the rules on the backswing, and we'll also check out catcher's interference because normally when something like that happens, you think it's going to be catcher's interference, especially if it's a normal-looking swing. But backswing a follow-through hits catcher if a batter strikes at a ball and misses in the umpire's judgment unintentionally hits the catcher or the ball in the back of the batter on the follow-through or backswing while the batter is still in the batter's box. It shall be called a strike. But the ball is dead and no runners shall advance. It goes on to say that if a runner does try to steal and is thrown out, then the out will stand. But if he is safe, then he has to return. That's exactly what happened. It says this interpretation applies even if the catcher is in the act of making a throw to retire a runner. That is, if the batter is in the batter's box and his normal backswing or follow through unintentionally strikes the catcher or the ball while the catcher is in the act of throwing, Time is called and the runners return. And that's basically what happened. And I've read this multiple times. And it seems like that's what happened. Now, for catcher's interference, catcher's interference can happen in different ways. The most common is when the batter's bat makes contact with the catcher's mitt. If he sticks his mitt out too far and in the normal swing and hits the mitt, that's catcher's interference. Ball, another one. Ouch. <laughs> catcher's interference. Catcher's interference again. Is, is, yeah. And Joe was talking about it again. They thought they had it yesterday as well. This particular play looks a little more like the original, like the backswing interference call, and I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down below. Was this the right call right here? According to the rules, it feels like it might have been the right call on this field, which is insane because I rarely agree with umpires, especially Joe West. Look at Joe West's smug right there. Look at that face. I want no part of that. But in this case, he might have been right. Let me know what you guys think down below. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to talk to you next time. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.